All right, hi everybody. We're working through the quadratic functions and equations review. Uh, we're on question 8C. Under what conditions will the parabola pass through the origin? Uh, this is kind of a, a strange question here. I, I, th I think maybe at, at some point uh, people are going to want to interpret this as, um, as the vertex going through the, the origin. Uh, but that's actually not what it says here. It just says under what conditions will the parabola pass through the origin. So that, that could be the vertex passing through the origin. But it could also be something like, like this, where the parabola goes, it's off to the side here. So what we want to do here to, to determine the conditions here, we want to take a look at the, the general form, or the I should say the vertex form of the, of the parabola. And then I'm going to put uh, zeros in. Okay, So we're going to let 0 equal a times 0 minus p squared plus q. And so what we see here, if I kind of simplify this, I maybe I bring the, the q over. So negative q is equal to a, and then 0 minus p is negative p squared is just p squared. And so if this is true, okay, if this is true, then it passes through the origin, okay? Um, additionally, the, the equation, for example, the equation could be in the, um, in the, the root form. So if I've got y equals a x minus r, okay, uh, x minus s. Now, actually, when I when I look at this right here, this is this is going to be this isn't going to come out exactly the way I want it here. But if um, if this is going to go through the origin, that'll be zero equals a times zero minus r times zero minus s. Essentially, this is going to be if when you multiply those together, a r s. In other words, uh, sorry, I don't. I put brackets around it. <laughs> I didn't want brackets there. So zero is equal to a r s. Essentially, if one of these is zero, in other words, if the stretch factor is zero, which would mean there's no parabola anyway. But if either of the either of the x intercepts here r or s, either the roots is zero then it's going to pass through the origin. So there's a, a couple of things that are going on here that could force this, this parabola to go through the origin. 